Welcome back to the show, everyone. Today, what I have for you guys is a brand new GTA 5 online video. It's honestly been a crazy few days here for GTA Online players. We've had all of the GTA 6 news, we've had GTA Online Winter Update news, and of course my own scheduled Red Dead content. And so I had to delay my buyer's guide and my weekly solo money making guide as well, which is going to be dropping tomorrow, so apologize for that. But this video is all about the vehicle and the property discounts that are available this week. Rockstar actually discounted one vehicle business that we haven't really had on bonus or on discount count in a long long time and we also have several amazing collectors and remove vehicles that have been reintroduced back into the game for a limited time and so we will be reviewing all of these items here in today's video so as we get started if you enjoy this video at any point or if you just find it helpful let me know by dropping a like on it and if you want to stay up to date with everything gta online and rockstar games then please consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on So jumping in with our property discount, we have 50% off all vehicle warehouses as well as 50% off all executive offices. So I'll specifically go into more detail on the business and how you can make money with this in my solo money making guide that's coming out tomorrow. But for right now, I can definitely say that purchasing both an executive office and a vehicle warehouse is 100% recommended this week. The import export DLC is on double money, which means exporting your stolen rides as well as the high demand bonus if you complete those sale missions and public lobbies are both doubled in payouts. And so this is the first time in years that we've seen a bonus with this DLC update. I'm not sure the last time, but I know it's been several years, like since before the contract update. Personally, I'm super happy about this. The business basically revolves around you stealing high value vehicles and then selling them for profit. Very simple, it offers a very very efficient and lucrative way to make money in this game. It can earn you a pretty decent amount of money per hour on its own, but what it's really good at is functioning as a side business and basically something you can do to multitask with other content while your other major businesses are on cooldown, you're waiting for sales, waiting to start another mission, etc. The tasks involved with these missions are very straightforward and they can be effectively managed just as a solo player. You don't need a whole squad for it. Additionally here, the risk of interference from other players on your sales is relatively low, I'd say, compared to other business activities, so you're not going to be bothered that much, you're not going to get grief, things like that. It can happen, but it's unlikely. The missions are also varied and engaging, and that keeps the gameplay experience fresh. Like I said, I'll go into more detail and give you some of the best tips I have for using this business to make money tomorrow, but for right now, all you need to know is the Vehicle Warehouse is a must-have for solo players who are looking to build their wealth in a more enjoyable and faster way in GTA Online. Now, let's move on to our vehicle discounts. First, we have 40% off the Fister 811. This is one of the most sought after removed vehicles in the game and it's available at the LS Car Meet test drive this week. The Fister 811 in GTA is, like I said, outstanding. It's characterized by its impressive acceleration that eclipses most motorcycles and non-electric supercars in this game. It ranks among some of the top three fastest standard cars in this game, outperforming well-known vehicles you may already be driving right now, like the Torero XO, the Divest 8, and the LM87. While it is incredibly fast, particularly in races with long straightaways, it does struggle in the corners due to the notable understeer as well as the sudden oversteer when exiting turns. The car's traction can be problematic at times, especially in stunt races or in wet and rainy conditions, and the 811 I would say is best suited for races on tracks with long straights and sweeping curves rather than sharp corners where it can fully utilize the top speed without you being hindered by those tight turns. Moving on, we have 40% off the Progen GP1, another removed vehicle that's available at the LS Car Meet as a test drive car this week. This is a high performance supercar that's notable for its excellent acceleration and precise handling, making it adept at navigating tight corners. It features strong braking capabilities and you maintain good traction and stability with this car even in those adverse weather conditions. However, the top speed does fall short compared to other supercars, which might be a drawback on straight sections of a race. Additionally, the stiffer suspension with this car can make handling bumpy or on uneven terrain it can make it challenging, and this car is relatively prone to spinning out, especially at those high speeds, which require very careful control so that you can recover your car effectively. Moving on to number three, we have 25% off the F-160 Raiju that's available at Warsock. Owning the Raiju in GTA Online offers a very unique flying experience with the hybrid capabilities of this aircraft, which are akin to the Hydra in this game, allowing seamless switching between vertical and horizontal flight modes. Also, as well as the fastest aircraft in this game, this plane does boast exceptional top speeds and acceleration, complemented by the superior handling and maneuverability you get with this aircraft as well, and the smaller size overall does enable you to land in those tighter spaces, and the Raiju's standout stealth mode enhances evasion tactics, though it does require 
require very good piloting due to the absence of countermeasures, so be careful of that. But you are armed with dual explosive cannons and missile launchers, and this aircraft excels in air-to-air -air combat, making it a formidable choice for diverse combat as well as strategic scenarios and also role play as well. Moving on to number four, we have 50% off the Bogassian Furnace, yet another removed vehicle of Premium Deluxe Motorsport this week. Owning the Infernus means driving an iconic car with a high-performing engine that offers good acceleration and top speed. The all-wheel drive layout makes it powerful on the streets, but the handling does require good attention due to the tendency to oversteer and the challenging stability and cornering you'll encounter with this car. Skillful driving is definitely essential, with a need for constant control throughout aggressive acceleration or braking during hard corners, and while the mid-engine layout does provide some protection, the durability isn't really the strongest on this car. So now moving on, we have 50% off the Grati Cheetah, another removed vehicle at Premium Deluxe Motorsport this week. This is a standout supercar and an OG supercar, comparable to top performance in the OG days like the Adder, the Entity XF, and the Zentorno, which, is, which are known for their impressive speed and acceleration, and this car is ideal for getaways and high-speed pursuits. Its exceptional handling and the responsive braking set it apart, particularly in urban races, where skilled drivers can efficiently navigate those turns without much loss of speed. However, you do have noticeable wheel spin at takeoff, more so than other cars in the game, which is going to require some feathering of the throttle. And the unique feature is the ability to drive under high suspension vehicles because it's so low to the ground. So when you have that suspension maximally lowered at Los Santos Customs, it's just a cool factor to keep in mind and you can impress some of your friends while driving this car. After that, we have 40% off the Obey 9F Cabrio, a removed vehicle at the LS Car Meet, and it's a test drive car this week. This basically is one-to-one -one with the coupe counterpart, the non-Cabrio version. You get nimble handling, high torque, rear engine, all-wheel drive layout, and with all-wheel drive, it does somewhat lack traction, which is surprising, but it's a very quick car, and it's a beautiful looking one to drive. I prefer it over the standard 9F. I feel like somehow it's a placebo effect, but it does feel quicker. It's not, but it feels that way, and honestly, just a huge vehicle that I vouch that you get in GTA Online. After that, we have 40% off the Viser Neo, another removed vehicle of Premium Deluxe Motorsport that's back in the game this week. This vehicle offers a driving experience that's comparable to, I guess, the GTO, the Itali GTO in that sense, with the four-wheel drive setup as well as really good acceleration. It does stand out for its stability on rough and uneven surfaces. You can manage your drifts very easily, and it's a high-performance vehicle in the sports class, but really, this car shines with its remarkable top speed. Of course, the off-road driving sucks because it's a sports car, and honestly, you'll get a little bit of loss of control on the normal track, but an interesting feature of this car is the two advanced handling flags. One that affects the suspension springiness, resulting in a little bit of a bouncier ride, probably leads to its instability, as well as one that doesn't really do anything, but nonetheless, it does have some advanced handling flags enabled. And then finally, we have 40% off the Ocelot Locus, a premium deluxe motorsport vehicle that's back in the game that has previously been removed, so it's back for a limited time. Owning this car it means driving a sports car with a very good engine and a car with really good acceleration. It doesn't have a super high top speed, it's only 119 miles an hour, but this car has exceptional handling, it has a lightweight build, a really balanced design, and you get remarkable agility and precise cornering capabilities with this car. You do have a tendency to oversteer just a bit at the highest top speeds with this car, which requires some practice to master, but overall, you'll be able to recover from drifts and slides and crashes pretty easily, and the braking performance is outstanding, much better than other sports cars you'll drive in this game. So overall, when it comes to what to buy, definitely check out the 811, the GP1, the F160 Raju, the Infernus, Cheetah, 9F Cabrio, as well as the Locust, and I would consider buying the Viser Neo. Honestly, if you're into just collecting all of the removed vehicles in this game so you never have to worry about buying them again, I guess you could say that all of the vehicles in this game are worth buying this week. And so with that said, we've reviewed every major discounted purchase. Love to know what you think about the property and the vehicles on offer for us this week. Love to hear your thoughts. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video here today, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best GTA Online and Rockstar Games content, then please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching, everyone. Hopefully, you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next GTA Online video. Adios, amigos.